Hello Puppets, you are watching Voice of the Week and this week you have a Michael Lewis special. Does it sound special enough to you? Does it? Well it certainly is quite special to me because today is actually my birthday and I have decided that on my birthday there's nothing better to celebrate it than to be here with you on Voice of the Week and share with you some of my knowledge and to chill with you and yeah to um, check out some of the cool videos um, sent as submissions for this week. So this week's topic is very important. It is related to you, me, everyone in the world. So I'm coming to you from Sydney at the moment and it's supposed to be in midsummer, and I'm supposed to not be wearing this jacket because it's supposed to be around like 40 to 41 degrees but it is not. So now when you talk about the environment and if you want to hit the mark, if you want to uh, impress the um, judges or the examiners, I think you really have to relate that to climate change because climate change is evident in everything that we do. It has actually um, become a great um, issue recognized by many governments around the world. Basically, when I say that you uh, have to localize the topic of climate change, what I mean is you need to relate that to the place where you live, the area where you live, um, because climate change takes many different forms. It affects many different uh, regions and localities in many different ways. So you need to identify how climate change has affected your own locality. So obviously, um, climate change results in a lot of natural disasters, uh, unusual and unpredictable uh, weather conditions and you need to talk about that and then maybe you should identify um, what could be some of the causes of that, some of the um, reasons behind that stuff and this is where you guys have made your mark in this week all of the submissions have actually managed to identify their own local issues and they've all shown a great passion when they deliver that which is a massive plus because when you're presenting if you're able to um, connect to the audience or the or the uh, examiners or uh, anyone at all if you show your passion uh, if you indicate that you care about the topic the issue you're basically connecting to them and you're delivering the message from yourself to them more effectively that way as well. It is emotional connection, very, very important stuff in uh, presentations and uh, you know public speaking and that kind of stuff. So very good work that you guys have done this week. Uh, what is the solution? The first, we should upgrade and equip the toilet in the modern way and with the sufficient facility. The city should consider putting more trash bins out in the streets so that people won't throw rubbish anywhere, anytime. And another remedy is that the government should run some campaigns to raise the awareness of people about how important the environment is. River got the world's green, clean and beautiful, but now no longer the case. Yes, well, uh, this color it dirty and many weight. We can do this by encouraging people to use public transportation instead of vehicles. And uh, I believe that the best solution is to raise awareness. So now it's the time for me to choose who wins in this week's contest. Right, I would say the person that stole my heart, that struck me the most, was zooming heavy. The city should consider putting more trash bins out in the streets so that people won't throw rubbish anywhere, anytime. So I think V did a fantastic job in speaking um, clearly uh, because she, while she was, you know, delivering and expressing her emotions uh, effectively, she also managed to um, stress and pronounce most words correctly, most of them. Of course, there would still be a lot of room for improvements for, for V, but if she keeps carrying on like this, 
um, I reckon she would be able to, um, you know, excel very, very quickly in the future. And I can see you being a future star, uh, a future IELTS star very, very soon. Okay, so now that I've announced the winner for this week, I am going to also congratulate UV on winning a 10 million dong scholarship from British Council. So please make the most of it, girl, because your well-deserved prize is also craved by many others. So speaking of these many others, if you guys are interested in winning the same thing and uh, you know, um, exhibiting your great uh, English uh, speaking capabilities, then don't be shy, don't hesitate to send us your submissions for next week. Uh, basically, you have to create a mind map before you do this video so you know exactly what you're talking about. You need to write down all the keywords that you are going to address um, during the recording. That way you can record the video faster and you can hit the points um, more um, effectively. Um, and moreover, I would say that in terms of setting your camera angle right, you, uh, this is basically what you should do. As you can see, you need to find some really, really nice space, an open space with a lot of, you know, um, depth in the background. And you stay closer to the camera, so this background behind me is actually a, a, quite far away. That way you can give some really, really uh, nice sort of, um, uh, I would say, composition. Uh, and, and um, interface for your video so that's one of the tips that I could give you uh, so yeah don't be shy uh, don't hesitate to send us your submissions and I'll see you next week in voice of the